Hi everyone, I'm Julie. Today I'm gonna to make a cinnamon swirl cheesecake. It's delicious, vegan, raw, and so simple to make. It's gonna be a three stage process. So the first stage will be the crust, and then we'll make the cheesecake, and then we'll make the swirl on top. The original recipe comes from The Vegan Eight. I will go ahead and link directly to that recipe in the description so you have it available. So for the crust, what you're gonna need is two cups of nuts. It calls for two cups of almonds. I didn't have two cups of almonds, so I split that out between almonds and pistachios. You could also use um, cashews or really whatever nut you have on hand. And then you're gonna also include some maple syrup or agave syrup, cinnamon, and salt. To make the crust, what we're gonna do is put our nut of choice into the processor. And then we're going to let that process for just a little bit to break down the nuts until it's a little finer. Okay, there's a few chunks still in there, but they're fairly small and that's fine. A, a little bit is gonna be great in this crust. At this point, you're going to toss in cinnamon and then a, a dash or so of salt. I'm gonna mix that before I put in the maple syrup just so that can get incorporated. Now for the maple syrup. Put your lid on and mix it up again. That looks pretty darn good. It's all incorporated. So I'm gonna take it off. And then I'm using this um, pie tart put my crust in and I am going to save a little bit of this for a little tip that I'm going to tell you about in a moment. So get that in here and then just press it down. Make sure you get it to the edge of the pan and just try to get it as even as possible. And then at the end, I usually just like to give the sides a little firm press just to make sure that it's really packed in there. And you could also use a spoon to do this, the back side of the spoon, but I like to get my hands in there. I love playing with my food. So that's what it ends up looking like. We're just going to set this to the side until we make our filling and then we'll pour that in. But I mentioned that I left a little bit in the bowl. And one of my tips is I like to test things before I let folks eat them just to make sure that everything's uh, tasting okay. So I like to make a little test tart. And so I use these reusable muffin tins and just make a mini tart. And that way I get to taste test it without cutting into the entire tart. Now we'll make the cheesecake filling. And all that includes is cashews, and I've had these soaking in water for a couple of hours. I just drained them. Vanilla, lemon juice, maple syrup, and a cup of liquid. And I say that because the recipe calls for a cup of unsweetened apple juice. I didn't have that. So I thought, hmm, what sounds good in this? What sounds creamy? So I'm going with a homemade buttermilk. And what that is is a cup of nut milk, and then some apple cider vinegar that's been sitting in it for about 15 minutes. And then spices, we're using salt, cinnamon, and ginger. My favorite. So here is the vanilla, the lemon juice, the maple syrup. Ooh, this is already smelling good. the liquid of choice. And then spices. So there's the salt. There's the heavy handed cinnamon. And here's the ginger. All right, that looks good. Now all we're going to do is pour this into our two little molds.
Again, this is my little taste tester, just so I know what, <laughs> what I'm serving people. Well, I got that right to the top, so I'm not messing around with this cheesecake. We are in the final stage of this recipe. We're going to put together the swirl mix and then dollop it on and make a crazy design. We're gonna play with our food again. The swirl just consists of maple syrup and cinnamon. Get creative, play with your food. You know how I love to play with food. And then you could use a spoon, um, a knife, toothpick. I'm gonna use this little cake tester I have and just give it a swirl. That's it, that was super easy. It's three stages, but all of those stages has very minimal ingredients and it's not time consuming at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer for a few hours. I'll taste my little tester first just to make sure that it's good to go and then I will share this with my family and hopefully everyone will enjoy this. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them for me. I'd be happy to hear from you and I hope you have a great day.